Hi, welcome to the show. My name is Keith. My parent company is BuiltByKeith.com. I'm a prolific problem solver. How did I get here? I designed computer systems for almost 30 years for telecommunication companies and banking systems for large corporate 100 and 500 companies and was fairly isolated from society in many respects. So the last four years I spent a tremendous amount of time and energy and my own assets to learn about human nature and the human condition starting first with myself. It's very difficult to control and I really don't want to but I'm almost compelled to help others before myself. Why? primarily because in the environment I was in, maybe like you, I get so busy with work and details and trying to be, I guess, attaining the next level that I forget sometimes it's important to relax, enjoy, and above all, be satisfied with what I have. Does this sound familiar to you? So the last few years, I've been studying myself, correcting some issues that I've had, and then applying those to the world around me, primarily by listening and focusing and observing other people and the world around me. And as a result of that, I've invented a couple of products, but really have, the really key thing is I've come up with a new way of thinking that works for me. And as I've tried it and experimented on myself, I've gradually started sharing it with you and with others, particularly with strangers where there's no vested interest, primarily to find out the key answer to a primary question concerning human nature, which is the question of what's in it for me. It's compared to the other question of what's in it for you. How often does your brain process ask the question in self-talk and whatever you do in your day-to-day -day lives about, I'm going to do this and I'm going to say this and think this because I'm going to get something out of it before you. It's human nature to try to take advantage of other people and other situations in order to get ahead. Regardless of how pious or how high up or how righteous you may be, there's always a little percentage in our heads, trust me, of what's in it for me. Now maybe, just maybe, I may have discovered a way that works for me that I can work on the benefit of others at such a rate and such a high level of integrity and honor that I don't really care that much whether people care back for me because I know primarily that if I'm healthy I can earn a living and I've recognized and realized that by being service to others for their benefit often it means stressing them because I stress myself first, it helps all of us come back into a positive community of acceptance, which is what I'm working on. I write multiple books, uh, some for teenagers, some books on psychology, and a lot on business methodology. For my primary concern is the human nature. Because primarily because we try to take advantage of each other, we, I don't like to use the word force, but we competitively, oh, the, what's the word? You know what the word is in your head. It's always about competition, about doing more with less, and becoming so complex in our head that we worry significantly more than we need to.
Why do I know this? Because I used to worry all the time about almost everything and anything. And I guess instead of worrying about you, the individual, I now have transformed that into, I'm concerned about myself a little bit, but I'm really actually more concerned about you because it benefits me. If I can encourage groups of people and individuals to look out for others first, or better yet, at the same time of themselves, sooner or later, I'm hoping, and actually I know by the way, if you follow what I'm working on, groups of people will start caring for each other, and if it propagates virally, fast enough and often enough and with the proper context, I'll be taken care of just fine. Because I'll be surrounded with a group of people that care for others, including me, as much as I care for them. Now, what this has done for my brain is the ability to focus, laser focus, on problem solving. To the point that because I ignore the rules of society, not break, but ignore them temporarily, I can have a problem, see the solution quite rapidly that may or may not work, and very successfully and succinctly work through a new set of rules that brings a solution to bear that benefits all parties. So check out the website Bid on Keith, which is my problem-solving industry, by the way, because I will need quite a lot of help to move this forward. This supports the parent company of Built by Keith, which is a research and development brain think tank of solving problems because I know how to focus on the needs of others. Interested? Follow me at builtbykeith.com and together we're going to have a lot of fun playing games and being successful in personal, social, and business life. Welcome to the show. My name is Keith.